Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Techspert back again, uh, bringing you a video on how to root your Motorola device uh, running Gingerbread 2.3.4. Uh, this will work for Motorola devices as the Droid, Droid 2, and Droid 3, uh, Droid X, Droid X2, the Droid uh, Click, also, also known as the Motorola Click, and many other devices. Basically, any Motorola phone running the Android OS Gingerbread 2.3.4 will be jailbroken. I'm sorry, uh, rooted <laughs> by this method. It's a uh, one-click root, very simple. You get in and out uh, within 10 minutes. Uh, but first, you need to download a few software before you can get started. So what we're going to do is head over to uh, techspert.com. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the, all the links to downloads in the description so you can just get in, get it, and download the software, and you're done. So head over to this download section and download uh, uh, download first the Motorola driver installation, 64-bit. Uh, Even though it says 64-bit, it will also work on 32-bit systems. So just download the driver installation. This will update your drivers so they'll be able to recognize your Motorola device. Uh, which is very important for uh, the program that we'll use. The actual program that we're going to use is Motorola One Click Root. Go ahead and download this. It'll uh, save as a zip folder. So what you want to uh, so what you're going to want to do is after you download it, hopefully you'll have a program like WinZip or even preferably WinRAR. Uh, once you have that zip file open, just go ahead and extract it to a folder here on the desktop. I have mine. Uh, uh, on a folder called DX2. I have the Droid X2, so that's what I labeled it as. Okay, so once you have that uh, extracted, what you want to do is uh, connect your phone and uh, enable USB debug mode. This is very important. All you have to do, very, very simple, is uh, go to settings on your phone and then click on the button in settings uh, in the settings menu called applications. From applications, you'll see a little sidebar uh, labeled development. Click on that, and then you'll see USB debugging mode. It'll be either checked or unchecked. Go ahead and check that. You'll need that for this root to work. Okay, so once you have your phone plugged into your computer via USB and uh, USB debugging mode in all the software that you have downloaded already, just go ahead and click Motorola One Click Root, and this will pop up with a command prompt. Uh, after this, all you have to do is follow the instructions on the command prompt you'll be all set to go. Right now you'll see it's searching for the phone and right now it's running the exploit one of three and it's going to reboot your computer, excuse me, your phone a couple of times throughout the process. The exploit shouldn't take any more than five to six minutes so don't be worried if your phone reboots a couple of times during this, it's perfectly normal. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what exactly rooting does, I'm going to go ahead and make a video as well of all the features you can do while rooting. So um, please subscribe and uh, uh, waiting for that. Okay, it's still rebooting my phone. As you can see, it will take a little while. Alright, and you hear that. That's my computer recognizing my phone again. And uh, it's running the exploit. Uh, you see that little pop-up bar? It's running the exploit 2 of 3, modifying the local dot prop. Everything's fine. It's still set done. It's rebooting my phone yet again. There it is. Hopefully this, this time will be the last reboot uh, that you'll have to go through. Luckily, since the Droid has dual core processors, uh, the reboot sequence doesn't take as long as it did on the Droid X or other Droid devices out right now, uh, such as the Droid uh, 1 and 2. Okay, and now it's running the third step. 
and as you can see it's uh, it says congratulations your phone has now been rooted uh, easiest way to find out if your phone has indeed been rooted is just go and open up your applications page uh, on your phone and if you see a program called super user that means it's been installed congratulations your phone is now rooted again if you don't know what to do once your phone has been rooted you know want to get all the features I'm going to be making the next video of everything you can do while your phone has been rooted this includes uh, making your phone a wireless hotspot uh, for free without having to pay for with my provider Verizon uh, having to pay for that access as well as many 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 others alright guys thank you for watching again this is the Techspert and uh, go ahead and visit my website www.techspert.com it includes uh, the latest also not only in Droid but in Apple uh, I'll be bringing you videos very shortly. Thank you.